हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन इंग्लिश एकेडमी गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पोइम द सॉन्ग ऑफ राधा द मिल्क मेड विच वाज कंपोज बाय द फेमस पोइटिस सरोजनी नायडू गाइज सरोजनी नायडू इज ए मेजर पोइटिस ऑफ इंडो एग्लिकन पोइट्री सी वाज बॉर्न एट हैदराबाद ऑफ बंगाली ब्राह्मण पेरेंट्स हर फादर वाज प्रोफेसर एट द निजाम्स कॉलेज देयर गाइज सरोजी नायडू वाज बॉर्न पोइट सी बिगिन टू कंपोज पोइम्स एट ए वेरी अर्ली एज सी पब्लिश्ड थ्री वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ पोइम्स सॉरी सी आल्सो पब्लिश्ड थ्री वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ वर्स द गोल्डन थेरे शोल्ड विच वाज पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड फाइव द वर्ल्ड ऑफ टाइम विच वाज पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन ट्वेल्व थर्ड है द ब्रोकन विंग्स विच वाज पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन Then she devoted much of her time to the struggle for independence and social upliftment. Guys, a collection of her poems, the Scapegoat Flute, was published in 1946, and Feather of the Dawn, which was published posthumously. Guys, she met Mahatma Gandhi in 1914, and he gave a new direction to her life. Then she joined any patient home rule movement. Any patients, sorry guys, then she joined Any patients home rule movement, and later on the Congress she becomes president of the Indian National Congress in 1925, and she was called a poet patriot. Her public life was full of struggles. After independence, she was made the governor of United Provinces. She died in harshness on March 2, 1949, mourned by the millions of Indians. Guys, Mahatma Gandhi called her Bharat ko kila. She wrote 184 poems in all. On the basis of their themes, her lyrics may be divided into five categories: nature lyrics, love lyrics, lyrics of life and death, death folk songs, and miscellaneous poems. Guys, she was more than a poet. She was a national leader, a fighter for women's rights, a reformer, and a nation builder. Guys, now we introduce the poem. We are going to introduce the poem song of Radha. The minute my advice is given, I do. Guys, the poem song of Radha, the milk maid, is in the Indian folk song section of the world. of time the radha radha the eternal feminine in cries for absorb absorption in love radha the milk maid goes from her native village varshana to mathura the town where krishna lives lord krishna is known by the name of kanaiya and govinda also guys the milk maid radha goes there to sell cars instead of the cry who will buy these cars that are white as the clouds in the sky what comes out in govinda govinda again when on the banks of the yamuna her maids invite her to join their songs and dance what she utters again without her knowing is govinda govinda and uh, yet again when she goes to the mathura temple and folds her hands to pray to the signing ones what she could utter was known other than govinda govinda them absorption of the lover in the beloved could go no further life's highest realization consists in such absolute absorption since radha sat was full of her beloved krishna's beauty music and worship summary of the poem now guys we um, we are going to describe in detail of the poem sarojini naidu composed her poems on indian themes when she had mastered english language and prosody she was advised by edmund ghosh to look to india for inspiration she had to reveal the heart of india and this she did by writing poems of love themes the greatest lover in indian religion are radha and lord krishna The poem song of Radha the milk maid was published in the Bird of Time in 1912 it was included in 
the Indian folk song section. The love between Radha and Krishna is immortal. Every Indian knows that Radha, the milkmaid, belongs to a small village, Varsana. She goes from her native village to Mathra, the town where her beloved Krishna lives. The two other names of Krishna are Kanaya and Govinda. Mathra is the chief center of the mystics worship of Krishna, the divine coward and fruiter player, the divine beloved of every Hindu heart. Radha the milkmaid goes to Mathra to sell cards in a state of the cry who will buy these cards that are as white as the clouds in the sky. What comes from her mouth is Govinda. What comes from her mouth is Govinda Govinda. Then she goes to the river Yamuna on the banks of which her maids are singing and dancing. They invite her to join them in merry making. But again what she utters without her knowing is Govinda Govinda. And yet again when she goes to the Matra temple and folds her hands to seek the blessing of the gods, they unconsciously utters Govinda Govinda. This state of self-forgetfulness makes Radha merge her identity with Govinda. She lo- loses her own personality in her hero. It is a state of the highest intensity of awareness. It appears to be a mere milkmaid song, simple and plain, but it expresses the highest realization of the soul.